Hi, I'm Garrett Lane, Technical Lead for Dynamics Engineering at Xperia Laboratories, and I'm here to talk about our new guided 72 inch by 72 inch head expander. First, some background on head expanders. A shaker used for vibration testing typically has a one to two foot diameter circle of bolt locations for attaching test articles to the moving head element or the armature. Small parts or cube fixtures mount to this armature bolt circle directly. For large parts, a head expander is commonly used to adapt from the armature and present a larger mounting area that can support the unit footprint, typically by tapering upwards in an inverted pyramid or cone shape. Extra large test articles come with challenges. They're typically heavier and have mass further from the center of the shaker. This mass has the potential to generate large overturning moments and unwanted crosstalk, acceleration in directions other than the one being tested. Overturning moments can overpower the linear bearings inside the shaker, and large weights can exceed the capacity of the shaker's auto-centering airbags, internal airbags designed to support the test article weight. This can lead to costly repair for seized bearings, ruptured airbags, or worse. A guided head expander typically provides two things. First, bearings or additional restraints to restrict the motion to the vertical direction. And second, external airbags or load support at the frame to relieve load on the internal airbags. Spurred by demand for heavy payload testing, the team at Xperia Labs searched for a head expander to meet customer requirements. Unsatisfied with standard industry options, work began on a custom solution to upgrade an existing 72 inch by 72 inch head expander. For bearings, the team first considered blade flexures or linear bearings. These were ruled out when thermal and modal studies outlined potential issues with binding of linear ball bearings at the edge of the frame. Blade flexures were ruled out as the stiffness required affected the natural frequency of the airbag isolation and dropped off steeply at high displacements. Instead, custom aluminum roller flexure bearings were fabricated. These bearings have several advantageous features. First, they restrain motion vertically while allowing for moderate lateral displacement for thermal expansion. Second, they provide maximum lateral stiffness when lateral displacement nears the shaker's internal limits. Third, they provide minimal vertical stiffness to avoid interference with the airbag's isolating functionality. And fourth, we've made these elements out of fatigue resistant 2024 aluminum for long life. For the load support, Firestone air mount isolators were chosen with the design goal of maximizing load capability, isolating vibration, and maintaining the natural frequency below the range of testing. The result, moments and load travel directly through the steel frame into the shaker body. Load bypasses the trunnion joint via leveling wedges to go directly to the shaker base and subsequently to the building's isolated concrete base. With a solution in hand, the team set to work on proving in the system, including a vibe demonstration with one of our granite slip tables, weighing nearly 10 tons. The success of the system made it a crucial workhorse for our heavy payload campaigns. Contact Xperia Laboratories to find out how we can help with your heavy payload testing.